Hi, everyone. All right. We have around almost 100 people already. So we shall start now. Okay. Let's see. Okay. All right. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Alina Effendi. Can I know who here are our first timers? It's your first time attending our Zoom cooking show. If it's your first time, can you please type one? If it's your second time or many, many more times, uh, can you please type two? Okay, we have ones, a lot of ones. Hello, good morning, Alice. Good morning. Okay, mix of ones and twos. Okay. All right, awesome. So we have mix of both. All right, okay. So um, we have a lot of exciting recipes today. Uh, my recipe is actually quite short. Um, uh, I'm going to make the s'mores and um, it's only like 40 seconds in Thermomix and the rest in the oven. So I'm going to start by introducing a little bit about Thermomix um, to the newbies here, okay? So, uh, okay, uh, first of all, let me introduce myself again. I'm Alina and we're part of uh, KLE branch and I've been with Thermomix for about one and a half years. I started off as a user, loved the product so much, started posting on Instagram and people started asking where to buy. So I started um, enrolling myself into the advisor program and the rest is history. So those of you who have uh, Thermomix already and you want to join our awesome advisor community, do ask your advisors because uh, you get to a chance to win yourself a free second Thermomix, all right? So ask your advisors, all right. Okay, so before we start, let me ask you, what is important to you when it comes to cooking? Okay, I want to get to know you a little bit. Okay, so is it money saving? You want to save some money when it comes to cooking? Um, it needs to be reliably easy. You do not want um, difficult recipes and the, the type that you need to figure out the ingredients and so forth. Uh, is it need to be healthy? You're on a diet, keto, uh, you're diabetic or so forth. You need to control what you eat. Um, creative, especially when you have kids, you have a family, you want to be able to be creative in your cooking. You do not want to um, keep on serving the same dishes every week. So is that important to you or is it time saving? You are working from home. Um, you do not want to spend too much time in the kitchen. You have kids around. So what is important to you? Let me know. Okay. Creative cooking. What else? I like my meal from scratch. Okay. What else is important to you? Let me know. Type in the chat. Type in the chat group. Okay. Easy. It needs to be easy. It needs to be healthy. Time saving. Time is very important to everyone, huh? Of course. Okay. So I'm going to show you today, along with the other chefs in our show today, that uh, cooking with Thermomix can address all of these things that are important to you. All right. Okay. A little bit more about Thermomix. So Thermomix came from um, Germany. It's a German product and it has won so many different awards, uh, design awards, tech awards, and it is a wonderful investment. So you're paying for that technology. Okay. So it has, uh, it's a world-class German quality product and it exists uh, and being sold over 80 countries, including in Malaysia. Okay. And in um, Thermomix has been around for quite a while. So it has been around since the 1960s where it started off as a blender. And then we started adding on heating function and it evolves throughout the year. And we have Thermomix TM6 right now, which was launched in 2019. Okay. So in Malaysia, we had uh, the first one was TM31. My mother-in-law has TM31 at home and, and it's around 20 years, I think. And still working very, very well. It was quite hard to get her to convert to TM6, but now she has both TM31 and TM6. So that is the testament 
of how good the Thermomix quality is. So you can keep this for decades and give it to your children or even your grandchildren later, okay? And a fun fact for everyone, every 23 seconds around the world, one Thermomix is sold. And I'm sure some of you will be buying after this or while we're going through the cooking show today. Okay. All right, now I'm going to just talk to you a little bit more about um, all the accessories that comes with the Thermomix, okay? So, first of all, you can see this handsome product over here. We have the top part here is what we call the Varoma set. So, Varoma is short for vapor and aroma. It's basically the steaming set. You have the lid, Varoma lid. And then you have the top part of the Varoma set, which is the uh, Varoma uh, tray. And then you have Varoma dish, okay? So this Varoma dish is very deep and uh, it's about 3.3 liter capacity. You can put a whole chicken in here, steam a whole chicken, or if you want to steam multiple ingredients at the same time, you could. So you could put um, your meat down here and vegetables up here, okay? And you could also use this as a strainer as well. So when you want to strain your pasta or you want to watch vegetables, you can use this as a strainer as well, all right? And then we have the simmering basket, okay? So I love this simmering basket. If you have small quantities of ingredients that you want to steam, you do not have to use the Varoma set. You could just use the simmering basket and put it in here and the water goes underneath. And the best thing about the simmering basket is um, this is where you cook your healthy rice. When you uh, cook rice using the simmering basket, you're actually cooking low GI rice. You put water in here, your rice in here, and when you cook, the starch from the rice goes into the water and it becomes like this murky white color. So, um, so basically you're not eating the starch, the starch water. So if you cook using normal rice cooker, you're eating everything together, all right? And this also acts as a strainer as well. I think a lot of you might have seen our famous lemonade, six seconds lemonade. So basically you just plonk the whole lemon in there, cut it in half, sugar, water. And then when you want to strain it, just put it in there and then strain, okay? So what I love about Thermomix is that all the accessories has multiple uh, function, functions, you know? So it's very, very well thought of in terms of the design, okay? And we also have this spatula, okay? It's not just a simple spatula. So when you cook your rice in here and it's hot, you want to take it out, you could see that there's a hook there, right there, right? Okay, so you just use the hook, hook it to the uh, basket, and there you go, all right? And you can just take, take out the ingredients in there, all right? And then when you want to stir, um, the lid has a hole here, which you could take, um, it's attached to the measuring cup, but you could take it off. So when you want to stir while it's cooking, you can see the ring here, it will stop it from uh, going uh, all the way down and touch the blade. So you could just stir like that. And on top of that, what I love about the spatula is that um, when it's uh, dirty, uh, if you put it on the table, it doesn't touch the surface of the table. Okay, and it won't roll over as well. So they thought about everything when they designed all the accessories for Thermomix. So this is why they won a lot of awards, okay? And we also have the measuring cup. Uh, the measuring cup has measurement of 50 mil and 100 mil in there. So you could use this to put milk, cream, um, water, whatever, when you're uh, cooking your meal, just put it in there. But most of the time, the measuring cup is attached to the lid like that, all right? You only take it off uh, for um, certain recipes or when you want to use your Varoma tray, uh, Varoma set, okay? And we also have this, um, we call this the butterfly whisk because it looks like a butterfly. And how you use this is you just attach it to the back side of the bit like that, okay? So you use this to stir... Um, um, ingredients such as fish because you do not want it to um, um, to uh, what do you call it um, Malay's call it butter chai right and then uh, use it to stir nasi goreng um, as well as making um, whisk uh, creams and so forth and kaya okay and then now um, I'm going to talk about the 
mixing bowl itself. So this mixing bowl is high quality stainless steel, 2.2 liter. You could see the indicator in here. That's one liter, two liter, and max. So max is 2.2 liter. So it's a very large capacity mixing bowl. You could even put a whole chicken in there, but you just need to cut off the wings. And um, it can fit um, if you if you try certain recipes on cookie dough, uh, it can fit about uh, four to six people. Um, and you could always double up the portion as long as it doesn't go above the maximum indicator, all right? And you could see the blade over there and that's the low part and the high part. So that's um, uh, that ensures that all the ingredients are mixed properly. Very high quality uh, blade. And if you look properly at the blade, uh, one side is uh, sharp and the back side is actually blunt. So you wonder how Thermomix could actually um, stir um, all the ingredients without um, chopping everything up, right? Because the technology allows for the blade to, uh, to turn clock, um, clockwise and anti-clockwise. So how you do it is, in the indicator here, you could see that it's time, temperature, and speed. So in the speed uh, dial here, there's a blade icon. If you need to uh, use the reverse part of the blade, the blunt side, you just click on the blade icon and it will show reverse. All right. Okay. And then the last accessory that we have is the splash guard. So we use this when we cook high temperature dishes and the instruction will tell you when to use it. So you literally just put it up there and it will lock. Okay. So... Those are the accessories that you will get with your thermal mix. On top of that, what comes with your package is the basic cookbook. So this is an awesome cookbook. Uh, Sunita will talk to you more about it later. But uh, yeah, this is really, really awesome. Okay, you'll get this as well. And um, yeah, so those are all the stuff that you will get with your thermal mix purchase. Okay. So there are three options to on your thermal mix. Um, the cost, the original cost of thermal mix is seven one eight eight, but we have a two hundred ringgit voucher now, so it's only six nine eight eight. And you could purchase it through financing options. You can choose zero percent installment plans uh, via credit card or debit card, and you could also purchase a uh, full payment. If you purchase with full payment, we will give you free gift of. Um, a choice between two cookbooks, okay? But right now, you should really purchase the moments because we have very awesome um, host gifts and usually we only give one or two products as host gift, but this time we have four plus one. I would say four plus one, okay? So what will you get if you buy by tomorrow? If you buy your thermomix by tomorrow, after tomorrow, we will not get this anymore. You would get a silicon muffin mold. Okay, it's all greased up because I'm going to use this later. Uh, and like I said, I'm going to put this in the oven. So it's very high quality. I can even put it in the oven. So this one, we put it in the Varoma tray like that. It fits perfectly. Okay, so you could do the uh, mixed steam cupcakes, uh, muffins using this. Okay, very high quality imported from Australia. You can't buy from Thermomix Malaysia. So you should really, really get this. A lot of our current users are interested in all these accessories, but they can't get it. Okay, the other thing that you will get is Trivet. Okay, so Trivet also we use in the Varoma dish. It's to elevate your ingredients because we do not want to cover all uh, the holes underneath because we want to, uh, the steam to come up. So it's good to elevate your dishes or ingredients when you steam. Okay, so this one as well comes from Australia, Thermomix Australia. And on top of that, you get this Varoma reusable baking paper. So you get 24 sheets of this and it's also reusable. Imagine how many times you could use. And you just put it up here like that. Okay, so all these three accessories comes from Australia, Thermomix Australia. You won't be able to buy it on Thermomix website. On top of that, I mentioned just now four plus one. Those are three accessories. And you also get a cookbook, daily Asian cookbook. Okay, so four and what is the other one? 
The other one is um, extended warranty of three months. If you buy until 31st August, you get extended warranty of three months. So uh, with your package, you get two years. On top of that, you get three months as well. So please take advantage of all this. I've never seen Thermomix giving out uh, four plus one gifts as host gift. Uh, but it will, it will end tomorrow. And on Monday, we will not have this anymore. So put in your orders ASAP, okay? So Thermomix replaced a lot of your accessories. It has over 20 function, functions. It replaced your blender, your steamer. Imagine having those three tier steamers. I used to have that and it's always up uh, in the cupboard because I'm too lazy to bring it out. So everything is all in one with Thermomix right now. It emulsifies, it stirs, chops, cooks, mix. Uh, it needs, you can um, sell off your mixer as well. I know a lot of you have those two, 3,000 ringgit mixer. You can sell them off and buy Thermomix and it re replaces your kettle, your rice cooker. Uh, you can ferment, you can do sous vide, slow cook, and it can clean on its own, on its own, on, on its own, okay? So you have, to get the thermomix because it can do all of this for you. When you have all these different accessories, bread maker, uh, mixer, it's all in the cupboard and you feel very demotivated to take everything out and use. But when thermomix is just there on your kitchen counter, you will definitely use it. Okay, it's very, very easy to cook and bake with thermomix. All right. So who should buy thermomix? Everyone, okay. So it's it's really for everyone. If you're single and you want to um, explore cooking um, 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 a lot of dishes, you do not want to really spend too much um, ordering food. This is for you. You can always um, uh, you can always cut the portion into half whenever you cook. And with the moments, you can also cook rice at a very, very uh, small amount as well. So it is for you as well. And if you are just new, um, you just got married, you do not have any um, kitchen appliances, this is perfect. You don't have to invest in all the other um, kitchen appliances, just get one. I have a number of newlyweds customers who bought their Thermomix because especially the new wives because they want to impress the mother-in-laws, okay? And if you have kids, you want to do things with your kids, we have a lot of recipes that kids could try. They love to, do, to make their own ice cream, their own lollipops. It's perfect for you. Weekend activities with your kids is, is all sorted out, okay? And if you have um, parents in their golden years, you do not want them to cook over fire it's very dangerous uh, and you want them um, you want cooking to be easy for them they can even cook sitting down with thermomix okay so this is for them as well so thermomix is for everyone okay with that enough talking let's go straight to making our s'mores okay so what i've done is i've saved the recipe in my cookie dough account my partner later will talk to you more about cookie dough so cookie cookie dough is our online um, recipe portal i've saved it in my phone so now it should be on uh, my thermomix it sings um, so i just press these three bars here and under my recipes created collection i have a folder i have a lot of folders here and i'll go all the way down to zoom demo and there you go small cookie bites so a little bit of secret this is my first time cooking it i didn't even try so the beauty thing about a thermomix that i love is that you can always get it right the first time i'm so confident that i will get it right the first time live today so this is this will be the first time i'm making it let's start cooking okay so it says to preheat oven to 350 degrees fahrenheit so i've changed it to 100 and i mean 350 Fahrenheit is equivalent to 170 degrees Celsius. So I've uh, preheated my oven. And then now it says, put six ounce of unsalted butter, room temperature. So Thermomix as well has its own built um, wing scale. So you don't have to weigh separately. You just, um, you can just use Thermomix to weigh as well. So I've weighed all the ingredients initially. Now I'm just going to put it in. Six ounce of unsalted butter. Okay. 
and then you just press next. It says four ounce of sugar. So it automatically, uh, it automatically uh, tests or zero rice when we press next. Okay. And then next, five ounce of light brown sugar. Okay, next. Then insert the lid. See how my spatula doesn't touch the table? Okay. And I'm cooking in my dining room, yeah? If not in my kitchen. So you can literally cook anywhere. You can cook on your balcony as well. Okay, 10 seconds is going. It asked me to turn the speed to speed four. So it's mixing everything now for 10 seconds. And that's the sound of uh, Thermomix when it's done. You just press next. It says scrape down the sides of the mixing bowl. I'll, I'll just show you what happened after just uh, 10 seconds. Remember that block of butter? Yeah, just 10 seconds. It's all mixed up. Okay, put it back. Press next. One large egg. Okay. Next, nine ounce of all purpose flour. So, this is why we say it's very easy for kids because they can just put everything in, you know? They just read the instructions and put it in. It's very easy. Next, half teaspoon of baking soda. Next, one teaspoon of baking powder. Baking powder. So I have half here, so two scoops of this. Press next. One and a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. Next, quarter teaspoon of salt. And put the lid back on. Ten seconds, turn speed to speed seven. So again, mixing everything up for 10 seconds. Very easy recipes. Do this with your kids. My first time doing it. Okay, now it says to scrape down the sides again. So it looks similar like just now, everything all mixed up. Okay, press next. Six ounce of semi-sweet chocolate chips. So I have mix of dark chocolate chips and sweet chocolate chips here. Next, two ounce of graham crackers. So in Malaysia, I think it's hard to get graham crackers. So this is basically Biscuit Mary. Okay, you can use Biscuit Mary as well. Next, four ounce of mini marshmallows. Okay, but I'm using big marshmallows because that's the only thing that I have. Um, yeah. Okay. Then put back the lid. Next, ten seconds. Turn to speed seven. Mixing and chopping everything up. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to uh, mix it a little bit more because I'm using the big marshmallows. Okay, 
It's actually going to mix again. Okay, so instead of 10 seconds, I'm going to do probably 20 seconds. So you can play around if you don't have the exact ingredients and then turn speed to speed seven. So I'm just going to do probably speed eight. Okay, let's see. Okay. Looks good. Looks like cookie dough. But I'm just going to mix it one more time. Okay. Again, just now twenty seconds and speed it. All right, so it says to scoop out dough, two heaped tablespoon around there and roll it into balls and place into the prepared muffin molds and bake it for about 12 minutes, okay? That's it, very easy. So it looks like this. It's like cookie dough. Like that, okay? Okay, so you just roll them into balls. Like that, just like that. You can put a little bit more. Roll them into balls. Okay, and put it in the muffin mold, like that. Okay, so I'll do, um, I'll fill this up and put it in the oven at 176 degrees Celsius for about 12 minutes. Now what I'm going to do is after 12 minutes, I'm, I'm going to take it out and put a little bit of garnishing with um, more marshmallows, um, um, cook, um, biscuit mary and uh, chocolate chips just to make it look nice. Okay, then I'll put it back for about two minutes. Uh, meanwhile, uh, I'm going to pass the show over to Azuri. Uh, I mean, sorry, to Ayu. Uh, and uh, let's see what she's cooking today. Okay, over to Ayu. Hello, Salam. Hi, everyone. I hope you all can see me clearly. Um, the audio should be fine as well. Everyone is staying safe at home. All right, so it's almost around lunchtime and I think you all are thinking what to cook for lunch. So I'll be showing you um, a very simple, easy, complete dish. It's actually um, called Thai style fried bihun. I love it because you basically can champa everything inside there and your meal is done in 25 minutes. So that's really, really awesome for me. All right. So without wasting much time, I'm going to start. I'm going to start off. And this recipe is already in the cookie dough itself. So cookie dough is basically um, the online platform for Thermomix where we have up to 72,000 recipes. So it's really, really great. And I can plan my whole week in there. I can also even plan my um, what is this? My grocery shopping list. Everything is so easy in it. All right. So first and foremost, 
we're just going to um, add in all the ingredients very, very easy. So I got the dried shrimp. So this is my dried shrimp. Okay, next, um, my fresh chili. So that's my fresh chili here. So you can see I'm literally like just throwing everything in. Um, next, I also have here is the onions. Okay, we have the onions, ginger, as well as um, lemongrass. So we're going to add in the shallots, ginger, um, and the lemongrass. All just chuck it in just like that. Not chuck it in, but yes, literally like chuck it in. Um, okay, the great thing, like Alina mentioned as well earlier, is that it has um uh, built in weighing scale, so I don't have to worry about you know taking out my weighing scale, measuring it separately. Everything is built in, so I just need to more or less um what is this? Measure it just accordingly. And it's so precise by the gram. All right. So next. And it's so easy to operate that basically even my six-year-old daughter can already make bread because all she needs to do is just click next, next, next. And it literally tells you every single thing what you need to do. Okay, so I'm going to put this. Now, this is the measuring cup. If you can see here, it actually has a 50 ml and 100 ml uh, listing in there. So what you can do is if you ever need to measure something, you just can use the measuring cup itself. All right. So for the next 30 seconds, it's basically going to chop, grind everything in. Okay. Next, we're going calling me different types of oil you're supposed to cook it at certain temperatures now when you cook it at a higher temperature not only is it um harmful to our body when we consume it but you're also burning the nutrients in it and not only that i know some of us spend so much on buying you know fresh organic veggies and everything but if you don't cook it the right temperature uh, which what the conventional method can't do you're actually killing all the nutrients and vitamins and everything that's in there. All right, so now I will just show you, this is how it looks like. Can you see, can you see? Amazing, right? Now, if it was the traditional method, what you have to do is you already have to take out your blender. And then next you will have to take out your quality. And then next you will have to take out your weighing scale to measure. Can you imagine that's already three? kitchen appliance and then all the washing that you need to do i'm sorry but i'm very lazy i'm very honest <laughs> i don't have time to do all the extra washing and you know taking out and as you can see because i'm like at my island so i don't have such a big kitchen space to have the luxury to put all my products everywhere so i love this because it i need one uh, smart kitchen appliance to do everything for me all right, so next I'm going to put in the tomatoes. Okay, it's really, really simple then. So just chuck the tomatoes in. And like I mentioned, we're also going to saute it. So right now I'm going to saute, so I'm going to put the oil in. So I have my oil over here. Okay, just add a bit of oil in here. Now the recipe is always as a guideline, you can always change it according to how spicy you want it or how, um, you know, the choice is totally and entirely up to you. So you don't have to, you know, like, oh, it says this, do I have to follow this? Oh, I do not have this, what do I do? It's okay, just skip next and you can move on. All right, so we're gonna go for the next five minutes. It's actually going to saute all the ingredients that was in there just now. So can you imagine, for five minutes, I can do so many other things. I can do the laundry, 
I can keep an eye on my kids, which are, you know, in their online classes, or even if I'm in my Zoom class, I don't have to worry about the storm, you know, being on, the safety of my children, the fire, the gas finishing, so many other things. So with the thermal mix, basically we have um, low temperature and high temperature cooking. So in terms of low temperature cooking, like I mentioned earlier, the healthy way to cook it is at 120 degrees. Now that's the perfect temperature so that you don't, um, you know, like I said, you don't kill the nutrients in it. So why don't you type in the comment box, you know, how is it that you normally cook your veggies? Do you steam it? Do you boil it? Do you fry it? What is, you know, the most easiest, convenient, fastest, and, you know, practical way for you to do it? Because I know there's so many ways out there. But um, honestly, I'm not being biased. <laughs> but the, re the other reason why I actually got thermomics was I saw the difference and how fresh it was in the color of the veggie. For example, like um, I make the broccoli as well as carrots. It is so easy. It was like hardly four minutes. And when the dish was ready, you can see it was so bright because the nutrients are in there and it's not being killed. So it does not look like it's half dead already. So that's one of the great things that I love um, about the low temperature cooking. Now, like I also mentioned, you know, um, as you can see, I'm not like in the kitchen kitchen. I'm at my, you know, living area and I don't have to worry about cooking fumes because research has shown that cooking fumes um, is also very harmful to our body and breathing it is not good. So why would we want to, you know, put our lives, you know, at risk? when we have other options so that was another big takeaway because for me um right now you know we're, we're, we're trying to be a lot more cautious a lot more healthier we are trying to watch what we eat and i believe that the method that you cook is also very important uh so many people ask so can you do uh deep fried chicken again thermomix encourages um healthy cooking you can you can fry but it's already in the preset function, which means you can brown your meat, you can brown your chicken, but you cannot do that, you know, that croco kind of frying in it. So yes, because the amount of oil that you're using, it is not healthy, lah, you know, although we love it, but yes, so it's not that healthy. So that's for the low temperature cooking. Now, like I mentioned just now, the high temperature cooking, it can go up to 160, 170, but it's already auto set in the recipe um, itself in the cookie dough. Now, why is that so? Because we are afraid that, you know, customers may tend to forget what is the right temperature to cook and they may go and saute their veggies at 170 and burn the, the you know, the base of the bowl because it's too high temperature. So that's why for high temperature cooking, um, we have safety measures done. Um, it's really, really a smart kitchen appliance. I will tell you why. The other day, I tried to you know, cheat the recipe um, for the high temperature cooking. Now, this is very specific for high temperature cooking. So I tried to make the sambal sotong, sambal sotong squid. I tried to make the sambal sotong squid. Um, I did not have enough sotong. So I just put it in and it actually has like a CCTV camera in there. I mean, not not to say, but what happened to us, it actually couldn't proceed to the next step because it knew the weight of it was not the same. And to make sure that, you know, the machine lasts longer and, you know, the motor is not, you know, spoiled. That is why Borak, such a genius, has come up with so Young many nice details, um, you know, uh, technology to make sure that you know they've given us the best now i'm sure now like most of your kids are at home my kids are at home as well and it's always fun for them to be involved in cooking so i make my son cook because he knows how to read and he already knows what to click next 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 which is great um and besides that as well you can do the sugar stages at 170 degrees which means you can make your own lollipop now, I know, I don't know, for me, I never, never 
could understand that you know you know how to make lollipop and because you know the sugar stages are very you know, challenging i would say just like you know how you want to bake you need a certain temperature so with the thermal mix you don't have to worry about the temperature because it is so precise so you know that you're going to be getting um the right temperature all right so it's already started to call me so i'm going to move on to my next step now technically you don't have to prep um your dishes so like for me i normally don't prep because uh, i feel that then i have to you know wash something extra which like you said i don't really like it so now i'm just adding the carpet line leaves just to show you how easy it is so i'm just going to add in all the leaves okay i'm going to add in the fish soy sauce um sugar and dark soy sauce okay so let me just get my so like i said you see so you don't need to prep so basically my fridge is here all i have to do is just come here and get my fish soy sauce my dark soy sauce my light soy sauce and just start chucking everything in so for the fish soy sauce just follow whatever it says and just the great thing about this as i realized compared to the traditional way because traditional i know some of you love cookbooks i love cookbooks too but i've never opened any of my cookbooks it just looks very nice on my shelf uh, so i've always been intimidated to use the cookbooks because i really don't understand what they mean by some of the languages whereas with this built in one i don't have to have an extra cookbook outside here although we do sell many of the wonderful award winning cookbooks which like elena said you can also um win you can also get it for free so i'm just going to add some sugar okay i'm going to add some dark soy sauce as well in it see i've been cooking so much that even my sauce also has already finished huh previously my sauce will go bad with mold and everything now it's already finishing it's a good sign i need to do grocery shopping okay and next you can add in whatever veggie that you like you can add in cabbage you can add in sawi like i said it's all up to you it's your choice you know so you don't have to exactly follow the same method it's a guideline i know because many of you who know how to cook will already know that you know um it's easy to what is this it's easy to use your traditional recipe and change it to the thermomix recipe especially like you know when it comes to like rendang and all that i'm sure you all have your parents tradition recipe so you would want to follow it you can always do it all you have to do is work on the three manual cooking functions so i've added the water in Okay, I'm add in my dark soy sauce now. Okay, all right, done. Next, insert measuring cup, and if uh, unfortunately I think you can't really see, but right here over there it actually has the reverse speed on. So like um Elena mentioned earlier, reverse speed basically means that you are um mixing it and it's on spoon so i'm actually mixing it so i don't have to worry about you know the things in there being chopped or later on i will show you how i will put my noodles in as well and it will come out perfectly fine and not shredded all right so moving on now with the thermal mix you are rest assured to get the perfect temperature control the whole entire time because like i mentioned in the middle here that's where we have um the temperature control so thermomix basically works on three different dials the last one on the left is basically the time so you can say how long time you want it to saute or you want it to slow cook and you know it all will be here now once you're familiar then you can actually twist and go according to your recipe which you already have and at the middle here is the temperature now the temperature goes up to like 120 which i mentioned earlier and it also has the varoma so varoma basically what it means is that it's using vapor and aroma so whenever you want to steam something you just have to make sure that there is um enough sufficient water 
and every half an hour or so it, that the water level is there. And it basically uh, brings out the aroma into your dish that you are cooking. And the next one over there, um, the last one is the speed dial. So the speed, like for example, just now when I was chopping and blending, I started off at six and you can gradually increase it up to 10. So that's a great function because I don't have to pick up my blender. See, wonderful, right? So in terms of, um, for those of you moms who have babies, and you know, to heat up your baby food, the perfect temperature is 37 degrees. And that's why we always have to do a, like a small test to see whether is it hot or it's not hot because you, you don't want to be, you know, uh, giving your baby too hot food. And then, you know, they can't tell you that it's hot, but they can only scream and cry and it's already too late by then. So with the thermomix, there's uh, the perfect temperature control where it can go to 37 degrees. So you can warm your baby food up in there and you don't have to worry about it. And like I said, you know, because you don't want to kill the nutrients, so you don't want to cook it at a very high temperature. And I'm not a fan of microwaves, so um, this is a great way to also warm up your food. Uh, besides that, uh, for those of you who have baked, um, I tried many times. It was a disaster. Uh, okay, maybe one or two was successful when I tried to do this, I think the double boiling method where you use your pot and then you put the bowl on top and then you put your chocolate in there and then that's how you're supposed to melt. Mine will always be not melted or over melted. Very rare that I get the perfect um, melted chocolate consistency. So with the Thermomix, because of the temperature control, you can actually set it at 50 degrees. That's the perfect um, temperature to melt your chocolate. So if you have a Thermomix, try that later. And um, same thing, to dissolve gelatin is at 60 degrees and to make your sauce, it's 70 degrees for the perfect sauce. Now, if it's too high, then your sauce tends to dry up and if it's too low, your sauce does not really, you know, does not become, it does not become a sauce. And how many of you are tea lovers and coffee lovers? Why don't you pick in the comment? I want to see how many tea lovers and coffee lovers. Okay. How many tea lovers and coffee lovers? Ah, I personally am actually um, a tea lover. My husband's a coffee drinker. So um, I've just discovered a few things about coffee. But um, if you know that the perfect brewing temperature for coffee and tea is within 80 to 90 degrees. Now, most um, traditional, you know, uh, I mean, I know a few of my neighbors actually boil the uh, water using the kettle method. It's not wrong. It's just that when you buy expensive or when you buy coffee and then you want to brew it and you want to, you know, you buy nice teas and then you use the water that's boiling hot, it does not do justice to the tea or coffee because um, tea and coffee has to be at a certain temperature for you to get the best flavor out of it. Yeah. Did you know? Now you know. All right, and next, kaya spread. Okay, so for kaya spread, um, I personally love it because not only uh, the texture is so consistent, but the temperature to make kaya, um, I've never made kaya the traditional way because I thought it was too tedious and too much of work and it's just ah, too much hassle. So with the thermal mix, whoa, it is so easy. The temperature is at 90 degrees, so it's just the perfect temperature. It does not, um, because you use the santan, so it does not like overcook and overboil the, the coconut milk. And also, you know, it gives you that, just that perfect smooth texture for pandan. So if you have never made pandan, you have to make pandan kaya. It's one of the best things that everyone in thermal mix has saved it. Um, like I mentioned, at 120 degrees, again, it's basically for sauté. So that's when you actually um, get the best of all the nutrients with whatever that you are cooking. And that's the perfect temperature. So normally, we won't be able to get that temperature when we use traditional cooking. And it's very hard because, I mean, for me personally, they say low temperature, medium temperature, high temperature. Mine ends, ends up always in the medium temperature for somehow or rather my scrambled eggs becomes omelette. It does not become scrambled eggs. So it's oh, very frustrating. 
And um, like I mentioned, for at 160 degrees, that's the browning, we have a lot of um, built-in recipes as well. And um, at 170 is when we do the caramelizing. That's when, you know, you can make salted caramel. It is so delicious. You know, you drizzle it over your ice cream or your popcorn. And you can put it on top of anything. So I only make like, um, you know, a bottle of salted caramel and I place it in the fridge. And like every now and then, I just go crazy and indulge in it. I put it on my <laughs> cakes. I put it on my ice cream. I put it on my popcorn. I, whatever that I can put it on, the sweet. Because I have sweet too. I really love it. All right. So now, um, we're going to move on to the next step. And like I mentioned, we have not gone groceries. So whatever that we had, I just made do with it. And it says here you can add in um, your prawns, the shell and tail. I do not have my prawns. So instead, I'm going to add fish cake. I just love how easy it is. And um, like initially, what it depends on your bihun brand. Uh, certain brands, they ask you to soak it, but because there's already like a uh, liquid in here, can you all see? <laughs> I thought I would fall it down. So anyway, because just now we added water in there, so there's already liquid in here. So I did. I don't really soak my bihun too long. I just like, just give it a rinse and then I put it in there so that the water that's in there will actually absorb in the bihun so it's not that um, soggy. So let me just get my bihun here. So this is my bihun here. I already cleaned it but I didn't soak it. Okay, a great function for the Varoma. See, you can use it as a strainer. So I'm going to add my bihun in, just like that. Isn't it great that like you can chuck everything in there? Ta-da! And the best thing is that it has a pre-clean function. So which means after all this cooking, I can actually just switch on the pre-clean function and it will clean for me. So we're actually almost done. Can you imagine all that? So now, um, basically what the Thermomix can do is that, like I said, it helps you, you know, create different kinds. Uh, I'm sure some of you who are really good cook. Um, my husband cooks, he cooks very well. So when it came to the Thermomix, it really helped in the cutting down of preparation time that we don't have to, you know, use too many kitchen appliances to cook everything. And everything is just done in this one simple, amazing um, kitchen. So we have like 24 functions in there. And throughout this week, uh, throughout this show later, you will also see um, several of my partners that will be showing you more dishes to come. And I will probably pass it on to the next one because right now, basically what it's doing is and that's a great thing, okay? Like, for example, now I'm cooking and I want to just check through what is the next step. I can just go to the recipe detail and I can click and check. So basically, right, right now, this is already the final step. So it's for the next three minutes, it's just going to mix it. And um, I'm just to have to transfer it and I'm garnishing it. So I don't think you want to, you know, wait for that while. Well. So why not I pass it over to my next partner and once everyone is done, I will show you how beautiful and amazing and delicious because right now it smells so good in the house. So I'll pass you on to my next partner and I'll see you all in a while. Um, hi, can you see me? <laughs> all right, hi, good morning. My name is Azuri. And today I'm going to use the cookie dough recipe as well and cook Tom Yang Go. So I have saved the recipe in my calendar. So I just go to my week and then it will show what I'll be cooking today. So Tom Yang Go. Um, firstly, uh, you can just scroll down and see the ingredients that you need. And then you can see that there are only three steps. So it's so easy. Um, I'm just going to start. So, firstly, put three stalks of fresh lemongrass. 
And next, 40 grams of fresh uh, galagal or lengkuas. So the, the thermomix has a built-in weighing scale. And when I put in my ingredients, it weighs it for me. So 10 coffee lime leaves or down lima fruit. Mm, 10 bird's eye chili. So you can uh, modify the recipe. I am only using five bird eye chili because I'm, I don't eat spicy food as much. <laughs> don't tell my husband that I'm using only five because he loves spicy food. <laughs> I just have to cheat a bit. Uh, 100 gram of straw mushroom, but uh, for this one, I'm using butter mushroom because I feel like it's more flavorful. So just put everything in. So easy. Uh, next, 100 gram of um, the Thai chili paste. I'm, I like to use this one because I feel like so, sorry, I feel like so, so I'm just going to put everything in and see the weighing scale to where I feel 100 grams. Next, um, tomatoes. So I've cut my tomatoes into wedges. Uh, and 1,220 1, grams of shrimp broth. So I'm only using about 800 grams because um, there's only going to be two people who eating this after this. And also, because I want it to be more um, flavorful, more, more cow. Okay, I have put everything in basically like 80% of the ingredients in. Uh, and I also would like to add some uh, coriander uh, roots and some uh, Holland onions. Uh, you, can, you can adjust the recipe as you want as you like, and then just put in the lid and measuring cup and cook it for about 10 minutes. So in 10 minutes, you can just leave everything here. And while you add it, you can like clean all these bowls or um, maybe prepare other ingredients for the next step. You can just press this three dots button here recipe detail and you could see what's the next ingredients that you can prepare. So for this recipe, there's uh, hints uh, and tips where they teach you how to do the shrimp broth. So basically, all you need to do is just, you have to do manual cooking for this. So all you have to do is just press the skin mode so you can uh, measure 10 grams of you can measure 10 grams of cooking oil and 50 grams of shrimp bits and then it saute for about five minutes and then just add in the water and cook it for another 40 minutes you can just leave the thermomics there and do other thing maybe go shower or <laughs> Attend to your kids. So you don't need to monitor it all the time. And also, they have other tips, which is you can change it to um, Bangkok style tom yum goong, which is uh, where you add in um, evaporated milk. So it will be like milky tom yum. And another one is where you could change the seafood into chicken, uh, chicken slices. So everything is here, it's so easy for someone who doesn't know how to cook or maybe uh, you're new cooking, you're a new 
required. So you can just refer to the recipe here. So other than that, um, you can also, atomics can also, uh, you can, sorry, you can also cook four layer of dishes with your tournaments. Uh, you can cook your, for example, nasi ayam, where you can cook your soup in here, and then you cook the rice in the simmering basket, you put inside the mixing bowl, and then on top of the lid, you just take up this measuring cup and put in this baroma tray on top. And then here you can put in your marinated chicken and maybe steam some veggies with it. So you can cook your nasi ayam, like all four dishes of nasi ayam together in like 14, around 40 minutes. So save time, save space. All you need is just this one appliance compared to when you cook nasi ayam manually where you will have to saute the bawang and all and put it in the burras and then use the rice cooker to cook your nasi and next use a, another pot to cook your soup um, and then an, another steamer to cook your chickens and your veggies so imagine how many appliances that you need to wash after that but with thermomix while well, it's cooking, you can wash other bowls, wash all the plates. So when it's done, you just have to uh, serve, right? So cooking nasi ayam is easier with the mix, so much easier. So next is Thermomix also have a few other modes. I'm going to show you. Oops. Okay, there are a lot of modes here. And there are some empty spaces where from time to time, if when you connect it to, to Wi-Fi, it will uh, ask for an update, software update, just like your phone, where it will update more um, modes for you to use. So you can see that uh, there are also kettle mode where you can um, heat up your water and also set the temperature. And you can set the temperature from 37 degrees to 100 degrees. And for 37 degrees, you can use it to uh, do your baby's formula meal or even heat up the breast milk. You can even use it uh, with the moments to do that. And also, like my partner, I use it just now. The best brewing temperature for coffee and tea is about 75 to 90 degrees. So why it's best for to brew in that temperature is because um, the high temperature could ruin the intensity of coffee. So brewing at the right temperature uh, will maximize the flavor, especially like tea. If you brew it too hot, it will become a bit bitter. So for someone who doesn't like coffee, who, who loves tea, I'm sure they don't like like the bitter, bitter taste because I'm a tea drinker. And then we also have slow cook mode where you could make soup tulang. So easy, you just put everything in and leave it up for about eight hours. So usually you can just, um, you could just, uh, sorry, so usually you could just uh, put everything in uh, on, uh, at night and then go to sleep and you wake up in the morning uh, and your soup tulang is done. So you could enjoy your soup tulang for breakfast or even for lunch the next day. And you don't have to uh, monitor it every now and then, you, just, you can just leave it. So it's so easy. And you can also make beef stew, braised lamb, and, and so many more uh, slow cook uh, food. So cook, cooking slow cook, like, um, gives it more flavor. So other than that, you could also 
use fermentation mode to make your own cheese, your own yogurt. So it's so fun to experiment. Um, you could uh, you could put it in constant temperature for up to twelve hours, so um, you don't even have to monitor anything. You just have to leave it. And also, we have sous vide mode. So sous vide mode, it, this is my favorite mode because the sous vide machine itself costs almost two thousand ringgit. Imagine that you could do that with your thermomix with so many other modes as well. So sous vide mode is actually sous vide is actually a, a, a type of cooking where you put your meat or a chicken in a vacuum seal bag, and then you cook it at a temperature at a low a low temperature uh, for a few hours in a water bath. So with thermomix, you can put the vacuum seal bag inside the inside the simmering basket and put water until it fills up the bag and just cook it for two up uh, cook your uh, your steak for one hour and a half to two hours and your steak will be so juicy so tender uh, and all you have to do is just sear it on the pan for like one to two minutes on each side and you will get like a restaurant or hotel quality of steak and you could uh, you could have that for like every weekend you want also um so it there's only one minute left for the next step i'm going to talk more about yeah so we um, where you could um, you could actually plan your your uh, week your week or even month what to cook. So you could access it on your you could access Cookie Do on your phone and then just scroll through what recipe you want and then add it to uh, the days of the week or the days of the month that you want to cook it. And also, when you do that, you could also um, add all the ingredients into a shopping list so that when you go grocery shopping, you could just uh, refer to the list and see all the ingredients that you need to buy. So it's very easy, it's very convenient for you. Like, you get a machine and also uh, other stuff that you can use too, right? So next step, I'm going to put in 400 grams of prawns. So I'm going to press tear where it will go to zero grams. So I have my prawns here, just put everything in. And then next, add in 200 grams of squid. I wish you could smell this. It's so delicious. Next, four teaspoons of fish sauce, which I have here. Okay, and I'm going to cook it for another five more minutes. And while it's cooking, I would like to pass to my other presenter, uh, Sunita, to show you all what she's going to cook today. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Welcome to our show today. Hope you have enjoyed all the dishes my friends have been cooking for you today. So, I'm going to make a really, really quick and easy salad dressing today. Okay, so it's uh, also on Cookie Do. Cookie Do is the Thermomix recipe platform. We currently have over 72,000 recipes. And this is called a Hawaiian salad with honey and lime dressing. Okay, 
So as my friends mentioned, you can actually see the recipe beforehand. You can go look for it on your mobile, your tablet, your laptop, um, add the ingredients to your shopping list, buy the respective ingredients, and then now you just go start cooking. So here it says, place a jug on the bowl lid. So certain recipes will tell you to do this, either place a bowl or here it says place a jug. So I'm just gonna place my jug on top, okay? And then next, I'm gonna weigh in 110 grams of olive oil. So I'm gonna use the built-in weighing scale. So just weigh in 110 grams. Okay, so this weighing scale is so convenient because you can just, as they said, weigh everything straight into your thermomix. Okay, set aside. And then next, 50 grams of cider vinegar. So I'm gonna pour in 50 grams of cider vinegar. And then next, 30 grams of freshly squeezed lime juice. Okay. And then next, 90 grams of runny honey. That sounds nice, runny honey. Okay, 90 grams. And then next, half a teaspoon of mustard powder and half a teaspoon of fine salt. So I've got that here. Okay, next, insert measuring cup. So put the lid back on and the measuring cup. And next, 20 seconds, speed six. So for those of you who like salad, this is an amazing recipe that you can make. You can also check out another salad that I made before called the king prawn and avocado salad, which is also really nice. Okay, so next, so with the mixing measuring cup still in place, okay? Next, insert measuring cup. Okay, so now we're gonna do one minute at speed four. And this is the beauty of Thermomix. You can actually emulsify using your Thermomix for you, for you who want to make your own mayonnaise at home. The Thermomix does beautiful homemade mayonnaise. You don't have to buy outside. So you just emulsify. So this is what we're going to do. It says, while it's going on speed four, do the next step. Okay, so I'm going to turn it to speed four. And then next, slowly pour the oil on the lid so that it drizzles into your dressing. Okay, so there's a small gap between the lid and your thermomix. So it will slowly release the oil into your dressing and emulsify it 
Okay, so if you were doing this manually and pouring it in, sometimes you may pour a little too much. So if you pour it this way, it just dribbles in slowly all around, okay, evenly and all around. So how easy is that? So while it's done, just go next, okay? So it's done. And then next, transfer. Okay, I can't really show you. So let me pour it into my jug to show you. So it's beautifully emulsified. So let me show you this beautiful vinaigrette that you have now for your salad. Okay. So you can see how beautifully done it is, right? So it says to put it into an airtight jar. So I'm just going to quickly cover it with my cling wrap, all right? And just leave it to sit for a bit, okay? Because you need to assemble your salad but I have already assembled my salad and this is the beautiful salad that I will add the vinaigrette to. So when you're going to eat, it says serve immediately. So since I'm not gonna eat it right now, it's gonna be my lunch in a short while, I will add the vinaigrette to it just before I eat, okay? so. This is a beautiful salad that you can prepare even for a dinner party, okay? And then just put the vinaigrette on the side and people can help themselves to it. It's a really, really lovely Hawaiian salad, okay? So it has a mixed uh, salad leaves, mandarin oranges, cranberries, avocado, and a little bit of uh, sesame seed, toasted sesame seed as a topping. Okay, so how easy is it cooking with the Thermomix? It's so quick and easy. You know, everybody can cook. It's really healthy. I mean, this is like a really healthy salad for those of you who love your salads. This is a really healthy salad. It has an auto wash, auto clean function. It saves space because you don't have to have so many appliances and there's no cooking fumes. Um, Ayu was cooking in her dining room. Alina was cooking in her dining room. I'm in my dining room. My sitting room is right behind me. And, you know, it's really easy because it's portable as well. You can move it anywhere. So all these amazing functions in this beautiful appliance for just 6988 okay? And as Alina mentioned, we have financing options available. Do contact your advisors. If you do a full payment, you will actually get an additional cookbook. You have a choice of two this time around. And if you purchase and invite your friends to watch our Zoom cooking shows, you will also get all these um, amazing things that Alina shared with just now. The trivet that fits into your Varoma, the silicon muffin mold, the baking paper that goes, that's cut to size to fit in your Varoma. And of course, this beautiful daily Asian cooking cookbook, okay? So also if you order by the end of August, you get an additional three months extended warranty. So not two years, but two years and three months. So place your orders immediately, okay? The extended warranty is worth 330 ringgit, right? So what do you get when you buy your Thermomix? You get all the accessories Alina showed you, and you get this amazing cookbook as well. You can choose whether you want an English or a Chinese version of the cookbook, okay? And this cookbook is also preloaded into your Thermomix. So there are some really, really lovely recipes inside, like making your own short crust pastry. You can make your own um, chicken stock 
paste, etc. Risotto. Okay, so there's so many, many really nice recipes in our basic cookbook. All right. It will be delivered to your doorstep by our courier. Okay, and your advisor who invited you will be there to answer your questions at any time if you have any queries about your Thermomix once you get it. We have these Zoom demos every week. You are most welcome to join us and to learn new recipes, okay? There's also a huge online uh, Thermomix community. Ask your advisors about it. Join the Facebook pages that are available and learn all the new recipes, okay? So whom can you recommend the Thermomix to? You can recommend the Thermomix to friends who are chefs, to friends who can't cook, friends who are busy professionals, pretty much anyone that you know, okay? And if you love your Thermomix, for those of you who already have it and you love your Thermomix so much and you would like to have another one, you can also join us as an advisor and earn a second unit completely free, right? So think about that as well. Ask your advisor about the plan to earn your free Thermomix, okay? Thank you for joining us. So I will show you my salad once again, close up right there, okay? And I will pass you over to Alina to show you her s'mores bites that would have been baked by now. And we'll see you next week. I got my husband to hold the camera. So these are the s'mores by C. So I was using the um, silicone muffin mold that comes together with uh, this uh, period's um, host gift, which will end tomorrow. I'm not, I haven't taken it out because it's still hot, so I need to cool it down first before I take uh, the bites out of the mold. Okay, but it smells really delicious. Your kids would love this. It was very easy for, for me to do it just now. It was my first time. If it was my first time, anyone could do it first time as well. Do it with your kids. They would love this if they have sleepovers later on. Okay, all right. Thank you for watching. Have a good weekend. All right, so we are back and my um, Tom Yum Bee Hoard is already done. This is the big bowl, so I've also plated it in a small one just like this. Okay, it's really, really good and delicious. It has so much of flavor. It reminds me of like, you know, going to Thailand without having to go to Thailand. And it's so fast, so convenient, so easy. So now it's lunchtime. My lunch is already prepared. I don't have to worry. So don't forget to get your thermomix as soon as possible. All right, over to the next partner. Okay, my tom yum is done. I'm not sure whether you can see it, <laughs> but it smells so good. It's so easy, only three steps. The last step, I just put in some lime juice and I add in a bit of uh, coriander leaves to make it more aromatic. And that's it. It's just less than 20 minutes. It's so easy. And enjoy your weekend. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Have a Bye, good weekend. Everyone.